All right, so here at PDS, we just moved into our new warehouse last January, and uh, we set up one of these EcoCube continuous radon monitors. So this is a consumer grade device. You can see right now it's showing a safe level of radon under, under one, uh, but that's because it's about 90 degrees outside today. And when it's really warm outside, it's warm inside, you don't get that much air movement between the soil and the building. But when we first set this guy up in January, we were noticing that it was spiking as high as seven, eight picocuries when we would come in in the morning. Oftentimes we would open up the warehouse to receive shipments and the radon level would slowly go down throughout the day, but I'm not comfortable with that level long-term for any of us here at PDS. So we decided that we needed to put in a sub-slab depressurization system. So Shane is gonna show us how to core out this suction pit and then we're gonna affix our famous floor bushing. So some features of this floor bushing uh, that people really seem to enjoy, it's six and a quarter inches. Uh, so this diamond core bit that we have here is gonna cut it perfectly. Uh, we'll just hit it with a very small bead of caulk and it'll fall right into place. It has a exterior flange so that it won't fall into the suction pit, which will keep this lip from getting down too deep, which will improve airflow and noise. It also has an inner lip for when you insert the four inch schedule 40 PVC for that same reason. So if the four inch schedule 40 PVC were to come in too far, you create an air pocket, which would inhibit airflow and also create noise. So this is our six to four floor bushing and it's gonna look real pretty when we're done using Shane's awesome rig. Hello internet, this is Brent Olbert, owner of Professional Discount Supply. We're here at our world headquarters in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I have with me Shane Barr of Kronos Radon out of Divide, Colorado, one of my favorite customers. And we have a radon problem here in our new warehouse. So Shane is gonna show us some really cool equipment and we're gonna dig out a sub-slab depressurization system or a radon system for short. So we got a really cool piece of equipment here and Shane's gonna tell us all about it. So what we have here is a wet diamond coring machine uh, with a stand. Uh, it's bolted to the floor so you can actually use a six inch coring bit to keep it from moving. Um, it makes a nice perfectly smooth core. Uh, it's completely dust free. It's water cooled and the water aids in, in evacuating the uh, concrete dust. And then all that water and dust is sucked into our shop back. So it leaves a very clean surface, clean environment, smooth hole, and it cuts really fast. Now does the, the um, old drill, does it have the stand like this or was it more of like a hammer? Or it's was it? just a handheld okay. um, a rotary hammer. Um, and how many minutes were the old holes versus this new hole saw? I know this Gosh, one. we did, uh, we cored a floor yesterday in under two minutes. Oh I cored a 10 inch reinforced concrete stem wall in about eight minutes. Wow. Uh, that's outside of the setup. That's just the coring time, but um, Minimal setup. It doesn't take that long to, to get everything anchored and, and set up uh, Definitely saves time saves um, We all know you know what it's like when one of those drills torques you around. Oh, yeah, and this Breaking does not rest. do that Yeah, yeah, uh, it's got a slip clutch in it and, and it's super clean. There's it won't leave a the house with a nice coating of dust. Yeah. It's uh, absolutely clean, quiet, safe. Uh, makes a beautiful, like smooth, perfect hole. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely the way to go. Cool. Well, let's see her in action. All right. Let's Shane, would you show the, the pros, your pro hack for getting that out? I saw you oh. bust out. Yeah, so instead of fighting with it, shoot a concrete nail into it, and then you can just pull it right out. It. 
full of tips and tricks. Things you learn on the job. Time saving. Very cool. All about saving time. So a lot of contractors will core out five inch holes or even four inch holes. Um, the main advantage to this floor bushing, besides the beautiful look that it has and the flanges and the sound reduction, is the fact that you get a six and a quarter inch hole to work. So when you start to get this pit out, you can really fit a whole arm in there if you need to. Whereas when you're working with a four or five, it's tough to just get your hand in. This is, this is a four inch. So some of the advantages of using the right tools and using the right products. So we drilled a pilot hole and we can already tell the radon level is rising. That's what happens when you break open your slab. All right, well now Shane made the hard part easy. So now the real hard part begins. We gotta get about 15 to maybe 30 gallons of dirt out of here. The more the better. So time to get to work. This is a good sign that you're gonna get rid of your radon problem. If you can fill a shop vac one or two times, you get a good suction pit. So the nice thing about the suction pit that you're gonna see here on the next cut is we got well over 15 gallons of dirt out, which is what you want. Uh, there's a lot of gravel on there, there's a lot of sand, and we were able to get to the footer on this wall uh, to the concrete forms, which there'll be an air pocket there that hopefully travels around the perimeter of the foundation. And then this building's about 17 years old, so when we were reaching under, we could find that quite a bit of the dirt had loosened and was falling off of the slab itself, which will hopefully give you an air pocket that moves laterally across the slab, which we hope results in good pressure field extension, a technical term for if you can pull air from all the way on the other side of that slab, you don't have a radon problem anymore. 